Hey guys, I'm Zoe, the head designer here at Sabo, and welcome back to Behind the Designs. Today I have our brand new collection to introduce you to, and this one is titled Ola. The part one of this collection features a Sabo exclusive design print, which is this bold blue Vista print. It's Moroccan inspired, and it's on a royal blue background with white and green accents. We also have some great neutral pieces and a lot of great transseasonal pieces for the changing weather. This is the Shania set. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard. This one is similar to our Thessy top, but this time we have done it with a wrap skirt. This one wraps and ties on the inside and has a feature tie on the outside. It wraps and finishes at a mini length and we have lined this one to give it a little bit more structure due to the crepe fabric. We left the top unlined though, so it gives a really nice drapey finish. It has that open lapel collar, sabo detail buttons, and that boxy oversized fit. This one though, because of the fabric, does drape nicer and hug the body. You can also style this one open or tucked into the skirt. This is the Tatum top and skirt. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is a little bit big. So if you are in between sizes, I would definitely suggest sizing down, unless you wanted that more low slung look of the skirt. What's great about this piece is it can be mixed and matched in with the last set I showed you, so you can create some great versatile looks. The top is a little cropped bandeau style with a bit of flounce in the bust and an elastic and drawstring at the neckline and the under bust. If you did size down, it would have a little bit less gather. We have lined this one, but the back bodice is closed in so you could easily wear a bra. The skirt is a high-waisted midi style with an elasticated waist. It's a wrap style, so again, it has the inner tie and the outer tie, and then wraps to the hem. You can get a little bit of a split in this one, and it is fully lined, so it's not sheer at all. This is the LSE dress. I'm wearing a size small, and would say the fit is fairly standard. This one is a great statement maxi dress with those gathered elasticated cups with the cross halter tie. I've just crossed that one at the front and tied it at the center back, but you can just tie them straight over the neck as well. The bust connects to the side waist of the skirt with those gathered elasticated panels across the waist to really accentuate your waistline. The skirt is a gathered maxi style skirt and has a lot of flounce to really balance the cutout top. The back bodice is closed in, but unfortunately due to that cutout detail at the front, you can't wear a bra. This is the Jamie top and pants. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard. The pants are our normal high-waisted style with a thick elastic waistband. These ones are in a crochet knit style, so they are semi-sheer, but with nude underwear, they are totally fine. They hug across the hips and a wide leg through the pants. These ones would even be great in summer with a cami top or over your bikinis. Paired with the matching sweater though, you get a really cozy wintry vibe. This one has an open placket neckline with a collar. It is an oversized fit, so if you did want it a little less oversized, you could size down. This one has a wide sleeve with a band on the hem and a boxy finish. You could even style this one tucked in and the top styled with a denim skirt for a different look. Together though, they are so statement and in this cream crochet knit, they really give a, off a cool vibe. This is the Chester top and skirt. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard. This one is the perfect little transseasonal set in this ladder knit in this buttery cream colorway. This one's so easy to style and you could pair it back with pieces in your wardrobe. Otherwise, together they give you a really great set. The top is a v-neck style with a tie detail and a split to the hem. This one is fully lined so you can go without a bra, but as you can see, I've paired it with a white bra or you could get something that matches the colorway of the fabric better. This one has a long sleeve and the back is fully closed in. It pairs perfectly with the matching little wrap skirt. It's high-waisted and has a fixed inner and then a tie detail on the outer. It has an invisible zipper and finishes at a mini length. We have chosen to keep this one unlined just so it pairs perfectly with the top and didn't get too bulky. This is the alley top. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard. It is quite a snug fit though, so if you did want it a little bit more roomy, I would suggest sizing up if you're in between sizes. This one has a round neckline and a cutaway armhole with a thin bind. It has a curved underbust seam and then the corset detail underbust with the curved hem. That one does have boning to help give it structure. The back bodice is fully closed in. Due to the cutaway armholes though, I probably wouldn't be able to get a bra underneath, but a strapless bra would be perfect. Otherwise, we've fully lined it so you feel comfortable without. 
This one is a great styling piece. I've just popped it on with a little buttery skirt, but it would pair back nicely with denim as well. This is the Geneva dress. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard. This one is made in a stretch rib fabric in this black colorway. That does mean if you're in between sizes, I would suggest sizing down as that one has stretch and it will fit better and give you a more bodycon style look. The cup is a little tri style with a seam detail and a curved underbust wire. That one is just a detail though, it's not really for support. It has elastic in the shoulders of that fitted long sleeve style and then the dress is a bodycon style which hugs the body and then is straight towards the hem. We have put a split at the centre back hem to help you be able to walk and it is finished off with an invisible zipper at the centre back. This one you could probably fit a bra with but it definitely works better without. This is the Harley dress. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard. This one is in a black cotton slubby fabric mixed with that lace panel detail. It has tri cups with a panel and a slight gather and then that curved underbust. It has thin straps which loop over the shoulders and through the loops of the side seam and tie at the centre back. That does unfortunately mean you can't wear a bra with this one but we have fully lined it so you feel comfortable without. Under the bust we have those dramatic lace panel details that connect to the front of the skirt which is a maxi style. It is A-line so it is quite fitted across the hips to show off your figure and then an A-line towards the hem. This one has a zipper at the centre back and those lace panels are unlined. This one is such a statement piece and I really love how the lace really shows the detail in this black colourway. This is the Alicia dress. I'm wearing a size small and would say the fit is fairly standard, but if you are in between sizes, I would suggest sizing down. This one is in this matte silk fabric and it is quite thick, so we've chosen not to line it. This one is in a sage green colorway, which makes it the perfect easy to wear piece for your next upcoming formal event. This one has a sweetheart neckline with that dramatic drawstring detail down the front. I've really cinched that one in so the split is quite high but you can lower it to get a bit more coverage as well. The bodice is really fitted with boning at the side seam to help that neckline stay up. It is fitted through the hip and then straight towards the hem and it's a maxi style length and perfect for heels as well. The back bodice is closed in and has that zipper at the centre back so that does mean you can wear a strapless bra with this one if you need. This one is the statement piece for your next upcoming event and it's such a gorgeous colourway and so easy to style. Thanks for watching this week guys, next week we'll be back with part 2 of our Ola collection.